not very good at reading in general, and now I have to read words backwards. So here's my try. Prince Adela in the Sense by Colonel Stoop Nangle. Here indeed is a story that make your crash fleep. It will give you poos gimples. Think of a poor little glip of a slur. Prairie Vitti, who just because she had two sisty uglers had to flop them more, clinkle the shovers out of the stitchin' cove, and do all the other chasty nores. While her somely histers went to dancy, a dancy best fall, wasn't that a shirty dame? Well, to make a long story short, this youngless hapster was chewing her doors one day, when who should suddenly appear but Gary Fodmother, Feeling very folly for this wit witty prafe, she haped her cl clans, said a couple of wagic murds mer in the ash of a flybrow. Cinderella was transformed into a bavaging, bavaging rooty. And out at the stubborn co. <sighs> Excuse me. And out at the st Sturb cone stood a nam magnificent golden goach made of a pipe rello yumpkin. The gaudy fair mother told her to hop in and dive to the dance, but added that she must positively be mid by home light. So over mash with assumption she thanked the fairy from the bottom of her bart. Bind a cloud, the driver whacked his crib and off they went into a doubt of clust. Soon then came to a casterful wandle, where a pransome hence was pa posing a tardy for the people of the pound. Kinderella alighted from the soach, hanked her dropper chief, and outran the handsome pr prance, who had been peeking at her all the time from, the, from a wooden hindo. The ugly ister stood blatantly sigh, not cinderizing Reconella in her royal garments. Well, to make a long, sh shorty still store, the niece went absolutely prutz over the pruly lenses. lenses. After several drawers of ensign, he was as I then crevier, but at the milk of stride night, Scrambadeller, Scrambadella suddenly sinned, and the disapprinted points diked to light. He had forgotten to ask Nina's her prey, but as she went sunny, down the long reps, she slicked off one of the glass kippers and sh she was wearing, and the pounce prints upon it with eamy glides. The next day, he tied all over crown to find the lanting day die, whose foot slitted that flipper, and the ditty prame with the only fit that footed was none other than our lady lady. She was finally prairie the mince, and they happily lively after ever word. Pars pleaded me for knelling the spame in such a mockery canner. <laughs> and that's it.